Hi everyone, I'm Mixed Media Girl here, and I'm back for another acrylic pour tutorial for you um, on the Itsy Bitsy channel. So, today we're going to do an acrylic pour through a strainer. This is a sink strainer. You can use any kind of strainer, or anything that even resembles a strainer. And it is a super, super fun and easy acrylic pour technique. I'm gonna go ahead and start by mixing up my paint colors. And I'm using the Little Birdie Pouring Medium and the Little Birdie Pouring Paints. The colors that I'm going to use today are Sapphire Trail, which is this beautiful blue. I'm just pouring some into my cup to start with. I'm going to mix up some white. Always a good color to have. And then I'm going to use some of the Plum Orchid. And lastly, I'm going to use the Timeless Teal. This is one of my favorite color combinations, these four colors together. So once I've added the paints into the cups, I'm going to go ahead and add the pouring medium just a little bit at a time. I've been using these paints for a little while now, so I kind of have an approximate guess of about how much to add. But basically, you just want to get your paint to a nice consistency so that it is easy to pour, but you don't want to make your paint too watery. So I'm gonna mix these cups individually. That color is ready to go. I recommend just adding a little bit of the pouring medium at a time. You can always add more. You can't really take it back out. So don't throw too much in there to begin with. This is the white. And the white is a bit thick. You can kind of see it doesn't come off my stick that easily. So that one's going to need more pouring medium. Let's see how these two are. All right, this one looks great. This is the blue, the sapphire. And then let's check on this plum. Okay, that one also seems great. So none of these need any more pouring medium. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to the plum. It does look like I added possibly a little too much of the pouring medium. So adding more paint will help to thicken that up a little bit. Okay, that is perfect now. So back to my white. I'm going to go ahead and add some more of the pouring medium and just keep doing that until I get the right consistency and ideally also all of your paints you mix them until they have the same consistencies. You don't want to have a bunch of different consistencies or some paint will move faster than others. So just a little more pouring medium in this one and then we should be good. I end up using a lot of white anyways, so I don't mind mixing up extra. All right, that now seems to be a great consistency, especially compared to my other ones. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a larger cup and I'm gonna pour my colors all in here together. For this canvas size, which is an eight by 10 inch canvas, I need about five ounces of paint. So I'm gonna start with my white I'm going to go with some of this teal. There's no particular order you have to pour these in. And you can, of course, use any of the colors that you want whatsoever. So for this size canvas, I need about five ounces of paint, which is a little over half of this bigger cup. I'm going to just keep pouring in the paint until I have about that much which I'm almost there. I think I'm just gonna add a little more of this blue and then we should be good. Okay. Let me just move my cups out of the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this strainer dead center. You don't have to, you can put it off to the side if you want. And then we're just going to pour through it. And you will see it'll create an amazing pattern and the great thing about this technique is you can use all different kinds of strainers to get all different kinds of patterns. This 
specific strainer is one of my favorites. I got it off of Amazon. Now look how awesome that pattern is. So we're going to let it just seep out of there for a minute. And then I'm going to slowly lift up and move it to the side. And then we'll tilt our canvas to get it fully covered. I'm going to just go ahead and put this on the corner here to get any extra paint out. And there's not a lot left in that cup, so. All right. Let's go ahead and lift this up slowly. There we go. Very awesome flower pattern here. Now I'm going to slowly tilt. Now, if you have any kind of a spinner, such as like a Lazy Susan, that is really great to do this technique on. It spreads it out beautifully, but you can get amazing techniques just by doing it like this. And this, you just spread it however you want, in any direction you want. I usually like to end up with it a little bit off center but you can absolutely center it. So I like this side a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and center it a little more onto the other side. Maybe about here, run it off a little bit in this direction. And there you go. It's that easy. You'll get all different patterns depending on how you pour the paint in there, depending on the shape of your strainer. But that's how simple that technique is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this sit here for a little while. We'll see if it changes at all, anything else develops, and then we'll bring you in for a close-up. All right, so we're doing our close-up here. Really, really fun patterns. You can see you can get kind of this feathered pattern. So you can absolutely add a, a bird into here, maybe a, a peacock or any kind of bird into there. If you flip it this direction, it kind of already looks like a bird. Um, you can make it into a flower. You can leave it as is, as a beautiful abstract art piece. So lots and lots of options. Just a very, very cool design, super easy project. So go ahead guys and make sure that you subscribe to the Itsy Bitsy YouTube channel. Lots more tutorials coming up and I will see you all next time.